All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the Spoonie channel where we are unfiltered, unafraid, and pain recognizes pain. Look at who I have with me. <laughs> if you guys watch my, my pain does not invalidate your pain. I'll put the card up here so that you guys can watch it. Lish, my best friend, she was on the phone in that if you listened, that was her. She was at work. I called her. She shut her door and because she works really hard. Don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully no one sees this. <laughs> so I wanted to do something different for you. Um, I do a lot of commiserating videos. I do a lot of videos to try to keep your head up, but sometimes it's just fun to be entertained. And I know that most best friend duos will say this, but we're pretty entertaining. Right? I don't know. I hope so. I'm feeling the pressure at the moment. <laughs> have you have you noticed that I'm like... Yeah, and I'm basically like, where's my space? <laughs> yes. Yeah, this has been our friendship forever. Yeah. <laughs> Love you from afar. <laughs> Love you from afar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, yeah, that's just me in a nutshell. I've always been that way. She's very in the more, middle. And I'm more... In yeah. my head. Yeah. But that does not mean she's not affectionate. She is. She's very affectionate. I show it in my own ways. She shows it in her own ways. And she hugs me every time we see each other. If you don't remember, um, I talk about Lish a lot. She's the one that lives two hours away from me. So when I go drive um, the two hours, I'm visiting this one. Which, that's where she's at right now. Or, <laughs> she comes in, a lot of the time she will come and visit me because she's a really great friend and she knows it's hard for me. So she tries to make the trip down to me. I do. You love me. I do. So, excuse me, something in my eye. Okay. Hold up. It's your finger. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little <laughs> finger in it. All right. Um, so what I thought we'd do is it would be really cool for you to get to know her because isn't she beautiful and wonderful and awesome? That's and we've been friends for <laughs> Only a best friend can say that. <laughs> no. Look at her. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful she is. Stop. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> okay. All right, stop rolling. I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's beautiful and she's kind and I'm so lucky to have her as my best friend. So I'm super uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> she does not take compliments well. Mm -hmm. I don't know many people who do. I don't know many people who are like, yes, give it to me, baby. I mean, maybe in private. La like that, lavish them on. <laughs> yeah, in private, you're like, tell me what you love about me. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> no, she's she's kind and big hearted and um, I love her and I made her, I forced her to come on. I was like, you're going to do your makeup. What little, what little I know well, of no. makeup, not as, perf not as much perfection as what's over here. This is not perfection, but <laughs> FYI, let me go back. I didn't tell her to do her makeup. She could have come on and rolled out of bed and been on camera and I would have been just fine with that. I could not have done that though. <laughs> but she could not have done that. So I said, put your makeup on, we're going to film. I will say though that this light <laughs> is just it's she met the mean, right I'm light. Just, I feel radiant in this, so it's <laughs> she met the right helping. light. I'm she, looking in the corner and I'm like, damn, I look pretty good. <laughs> so, she met the wonders of the ring light. It's a little bright it though, so I may be squinting a little. <laughs> when you turn it on and you're like, this is my fantasy. This is why every beauty guru guru looks flawless. It's just, this freaking light. I just want to walk around with it, like in yes. my hand, like, all day. And then you turn it off, and you're like, "Oh, there's my reality." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, I figured it would be really neat. I told her that I wanted to come up with our favorite memory of one another. Yes. And three questions. We're gonna do it like newlywed style and see if we can get the answers to each other's questions. So we have paper and I figured we'll probably have stories that go along with a lot of these because I hope so. We were kind of cuckoo bananas. I was nervous when she asked me about the memories because <laughs> I'm, I'm like horrible with stuff. Like I remember yeah. stuff, like I don't remember very much and she comes up with stuff that I'm like where was I? I don't, I don't remember any of this. But also there are times where she comes up with a memory and I'm like did we live the same life where did you get that I don't know so it's clearly what you know stuck into your head yeah definitely but okay 
You look so uncomfortable. I Doesn't she look so uncomfortable? I, I can back. see it. Because I have she's to be my like, best friend. Oh, I just relax. Yes, because she's my best friend. I can see how tight she like, is. I'm she's like, like, I feel like I'm in an interview because like when we started out, I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And she keeps looking down at the monitor because she like, wants to make sure that she doesn't look ridiculous. To make sure I have my good side. Oh, for goodness so, sake. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, so let's start with favorite memory. Okay. Well, we need we need our books first. Excuse me. Oh yes, <laughs> tell them about what we have here, Lish. All right. So since we don't have like official, you know, secret keeper board type areas, <laughs> we don't have whiteboards. Uh, we're yeah, not, we're not like doing we're not this professional all fancy. like that. Yeah, we were like, we're not going out of the house <laughs> to buy this stuff. Um, we're like, what can we write on? And I'm like, oh well, I have our uh, 1996. Uh, yearbook. Oh, she just outed us. Ooh. Right there. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we didn't cry. Well, yeah. And then Ooh. I have our 1997 Ooh. yearbook. That was the year we graduated. Oh, look at her. So she just brought your whole world. You thought I was in my 20s, didn't you? It just all came. The illusion came crashing down. <laughs> okay. So, um, what, which one would you like to write with? I'll do. Write, I'll do 97. I'll do graduation year. Quiet. Now, when I met her. Just so you can do all kinds of Google research and, and <laughs> see who she is. When I met her, she was Alicia Schmock. Mm. We're giving out real names online no, here. No, not mine. Oh. <laughs> That's not your name now. No, it is not my name I won't now. tell you her name now. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, you can imagine uh, the amount of teasing I got uh, in school for that one. So I was called Schmuck a lot, which, oh. was, which was fun. I felt so um, bad. But and once again, I was a little feisty and she a little was. rebellious and felt like I needed to have uh, a lot to prove so That's I'm familiar. like you want to talk to her you want to get you what you, what do you have to say tiny, come on tiny but mighty come on <laughs> say it to me yeah I was because she like, was so so soft-spoken I was quiet I think yeah I don't know I've never really and we've never talked to anybody we never went to any of our reunions I mean, I'm sorry if anybody from high yeah. school is watching this but we just never went to any of our reunions Mom. I don't know I just I think I just felt like a, I was more of like a wallflower. At least that's how I perceived myself. I don't think that I was more of like a, I wasn't popular. I wasn't, but I wasn't like picked on all the time or anything No, like I think or we like were considered normal considered like an outcast. I think yeah. I just was, like I just kind of was there. And you, way. and you were <laughs> outgoing in your group of friends, like yeah. with us, but still she wasn't going to be the one yeah. if somebody cut us in line at the mall to be like, um, no, I was just kind of like, hey, okay, that's how it goes. What do you think you're doing? The line's back here. Did you not see it? You must not have seen it. Why don't you go back there? I know, I know. <laughs> it was, kind it of was bad. It was bad. I just feel like, oh my god. Like, my husband know. walked away from me on multiple occasions. But you've, I've you've mellowed. Me you've mellowed out. I have. You've mellowed right? out. And now I'm pretty much, I think, kind of known, at least among, I think, like my friends and family now. I think I'm a little more like too outspoken. I don't know about outspoken, but I think she I, don't keep it in anymore, I think I folks. Kinda, probably tell it a little like it is anyway at least that's what people tell me so you know what it is is that she's very blunt and she feels like honesty okay Lish is the kind of person that takes constructive not criticism but just constructive advice and she applies it to her life and she's thankful that she gets it most people take that as a slight I'm not good enough I don't you know you think you're better than me so when she tells people and she's blunt, it's more that she's gifting them with honesty. I truly yeah. think that that's the way you feel. I guess so. I, I don't. So. I don't do it to make it seem like I'm better than people. No. Which, no, which has come out like that. Anyway, we're delving into a lot yeah, of psychology we get, we, about we this. Went, but anyway, I don't know where on. this went. Tangent. <laughs> this is like our typical conversations. Where it's these like, are our yeah, outtakes. And then blah blah. And then and blah, blah, this, blah, blah. And then this. And then, blah, blah, blah. And then okay. oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so moving so on to our questions that she like forced me to think about. Okay, so All right, what so did you want to start with? I want to start with my favorite memory because this is a big one for me. Oh, it is. Yeah, I have it's a hard time with this. <laughs> okay, this is our friendship in a nutshell. It is. I'm. I'm. I'm I, I honestly think she's actually a better friend than I am. No, I'm not. No, that's getting cut out right now. No, not even. You don't see, and that's the thing, is that she doesn't see that she's picked up every one of my bags. She doesn't let me carry anything. She tries to park me close to the walkway. 
so that I can walk in easily. All this little stuff where she's like, you're a better friend than me. No, she just doesn't give her herself she credit. <laughs> she doesn't give herself credit for I, all the stuff that she does. I suppose I, I will admit to that. Okay. Thank you. So. Because I'm always right. Favorite. Memory. Okay, so yes. let's talk about my favorite memory. Yes. I don't even remember what year this was. Okay. Okay. But just to give you an insight into if you cracked open this yearbook here, you would see that yours truly was a band nerd. <laughs> she was a band nerd. And not to blow my own horn, but people came to watch the band, not the football team. They did. Just saying. Mm -hmm. We were really awesome. Yeah. But um, I was a band geek. I love music. I love it, love it, love it. And on my birthday, she bought me tickets to go see Wicked. Oh, yeah, I did. And, yeah. mm -hmm, and for me, I'll narrow it down even further because it was such a beautiful night. I, you know, it. I don't want to reveal too much, but... You know, as silly as it is, we musicals were kind of our thing for a while. Oh yeah. See, yeah. see. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I forgot. No, I mean, I still like, remember this stuff, but it's interesting to hear it from your perspective. Yeah. yeah. So, growing up, she worked at a dinner theater, mm -hmm. and she would get free tickets, and we would go see it. The first, the first musical that I ever saw was West Side Story at the little dinner theater yeah. that she worked at, and we would go watch them. So when she bought an I Love the Wizard of Oz, she knows that. You know yeah. that. Yes. Yes. That's been no secret. Yeah. I think it took years, though, before I knew that. <laughs> I don't talk about myself a lot. I, really I was don't. literally, like, in her room one day, and she has a picture on the side of, like, the Wizard of Oz, and I'm like, why do you have that? And she goes, because it's my favorite thing of all time. And I'm like, who are you? I didn't know that. And I'm I... like, and this was, like, like maybe six, seven years ago. I don't even know. It wasn't that long ago. I, anyway, that's where I'm kind of. Where do I? Where? Oh, in the middle. Thank in you. the middle here. Yes. Right. I don't want to go too hard. Oh. Okay, there it is. Thank you. Okay. Love you. You're welcome. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> but, um, so it was specifically, we went to the musical. It was amazing absolutely amazing and they did intermission right after defying gravity and I remember listening to defying gravity and feeling like you couldn't stop the tears it just it overtook you and the theater was this there wasn't a bad seat in the theater and it was the most beautiful song and I just felt it and I thought this is amazing. And I turned and I looked at her and like I said, she's not a big crier. You're not very demonstrative. She's that's just who she is. And I looked over and she she had tears too. Oh. Yeah. You could see that it had affected her. And in that moment, like we felt it together and it just reminded me of our childhood. Like I said, Aww. because we saw Man in La Mancha and just all kinds of plays. So that's my favorite memory. So like emotional and sweet. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> no, I love it. I, I do. thought I, I would get it. a hug. No, or I, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is oh, you do it to me. No, that was no. That, that that was a good. That's a good memory. And I honestly, yeah. to tell you the truth, I forgot I cried. <laughs> um, I didn't because I don't see her cry that often. Yeah. Right. Well, mine was pro it's probably. That's interesting that you chose one that's actually somewhat. Like, re like recent, like recent. Isn't it? I mean, like it was probably I don't five, know when we went. five or six years ago. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. So fairly probably five or six years ago. Considering how long we've known each other. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Won't look. One of my probably favorite memories so far that is recent because I was also trying to think of a recent one oh, yeah. was the opportunity I got to go to her work Christmas party. Oh. So she called me up and like. So she had this work Christmas party, and this place was really great. Like, they put on, like, a fantastic Christmas party. And the theme was, um, like, the Grinch. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole, like, Whoville. Mm -hmm. It was Whoville. And they go all out. They and, went, this was the last year that I worked. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And her husband didn't want to go. 
cute. <laughs> and He's not the party type. No, and it was like a whole like dress up and you had to like get into the theme and so she called yeah, me Yeah, like up. really, I'll insert pictures because I have pictures. So yeah. I'll put pictures up of us <laughs> up here. So she like calls me up and she's basically like, you just you know told me about it. You're like, I have this work thing, and it's it is Whoville themed. I remember being, I think I was at work when you told me, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm totally into that. So, <laughs> yeah. so I drove down, and we went, mm -hmm. and it was like a whole like we made like a whole weekend out of it, and we went to um, we got a hotel room, room yep. at the place mm -hmm. at the yeah at wherever we were staying. Where were and we? remember, she knew the guy who oh we have a friend that yeah. is um, a manager at the hotel where we were staying, not at that particular one, but. Whatever. So anyway, he made a phone call and we were able to get a little bit of an upgrade and we got some like extra little things. And we got like a cheese and, plate, yeah, yeah, cheese and champagne, and, and it was awesome. The two of us at the time, I mean, we had so much fun. We did. And in all honesty, I think it was because too, like in high school, we were in high school and there wasn't really a lot that we could do together. And then we kind of yeah. lost contact for a little bit because mm -hmm. I went to college. My and my I first, got pregnant my first try and <laughs> she got pregnant and she, she moved and then we lost contact so we never really had like that that opportunity Those to kind of like yeah. go out and quote party and have fun and all that stuff so I think that for me like that weekend kind of felt like we had that opportunity and we just had a lot of fun and we were dancing and just being silly and we had our we made our little costumes and they were just Silly, like I think I actually have it in the closet. I oh, still do have you? it in the closet. Aww. And remember like I said, that I have the pictures. We made these like boots for myself because mm -hmm. I had horrible plantar fasciitis at the time, and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do. And my favorite memory so from the weekend. Hang on, before you okay, get no, there. Yeah, go. I'm sorry. Was the next? So we danced, and this girl, she and I knew she was gonna have a hard time, and she pushed it to the limit and was out there, and we were all. I mean, we were just out there, just like dancing so silly to the point that some of her coworkers were coming up and going, "We're coming out here to dance with you guys." I mean, we were just acting <laughs> we like were, a fool. Yeah, and yeah. we had we such a good time. Out. So I looked at her at one point, and I, she's like, "I'm," she's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm done." And I was like, "Okay, that's great." We go upstairs, and because you, we you fine. and I both know it hits you like a wall. The next morning, we wake up. I cannot put my feet on the floor. <laughs> like my feet were like so far like the plantar fasciitis was so bad I literally like almost dropped to the floor on my foot on the floor. I'm looking at over at her. She's aching. I can tell. We're just like we were in a creeping rough spot. and crawling around. And the whole time that morning we're looking at each other going, but we had fun. But we had like, Oh my god, I hurt so bad. But we had fun. I know. Oh my god, my feet. But we had fun. We kept <laughs> looking at each other like for confirmation <laughs> we that had fun. we had fun, right? This yeah. was worth it. So that was that for me was like my favorite. That but is you a were going to talk about the boots. No, I was just gonna say that your poor feet hurt, even though we made her like elf shoes yeah, to go over sneakers. her sneakers. Yeah. So that's how bad it was. And then I found, let's see, let's do a little plug. Then I found Vionic. <laughs> <laughs> and those Vionic slippers, they actually sandals are. have saved my life. <laughs> yes, they actually. Vionic actually is not sponsored. She Hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored. She wears them. Too. I wear them. My neurologist was like, "You need to get." And I live in Florida, so I live my life in sandals or flip flops or slides mm -hmm. wherever you are. Um, and I needed something with. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna show you. Wearing them now. <laughs> yeah, with some support. So yeah, that's a know. sweet memory. That is a good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't get makeup on me. Okay. okay. All right. So now moving on. <laughs> Do you want to know what my backup memory was in case we picked the same one? Did you pick a second one? I did, but I worked my second one in. My second one was our very first uh, show together at the Naples Dinner Oh, Theater. yes. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that was fun. That so, was fun. Okay, well, you kind of you kind of got into it a little bit with your, your band stuff and talking about the Friday nights mm -hmm. and playing and stuff. So my other memory of her Aww. is when I would come to the games and she'd like be playing now of course Florida Heat and they've their uniforms were polyester of all things. Polyester. Like, why would you have polyester uniforms? And before? more layers than just our the US whole military wears. Down to the I, it just yeah. made no sense. Hat just So mm. needless to say, sweaty as hell. 
<laughs> and so she would come up off the field and find me and just like zone in and just zone it yeah you would zone and mm -hmm. come running for me and then you would just like literally put your face next to mine and you'd be like Aah! like all over me rubbing your sweat and I'm like great I'm like this is I good look, now but I, I do love that though that's and so I liked watching her play in those um in the band because they really were they really were if you look up well, I guess I shouldn't say. Well, you saw the thing, so. Well, I mean, either way, we danced and we played, but mm -hmm. we really danced. I, I mean, mean, they we were like in the newspaper hard. as like, I mean, people would write We got in. sent to Germany and. Yeah, but remember people would complain about the band and their vulgarity. Do you remember that? I don't. Oh, people because would we would in. hit. Yes, because we had like hip thrusts. We'd be like, uh, were, double up, uh. Oh, so and many we like thrust our hips. So many, th so much hip thrusting back in the nineties, which you could barely <laughs> see from the yeah. stands either. But way. people complained about it. Yeah, anyway, well, I people digress. need to I complain. Digress. <laughs> when do you not digress? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we should do the questions now. Yeah, do you? You want right, to? So my first question was, what song did we dance to in front of your parents at our first sleepover? Oh. Hopefully I spell it right. <laughs> I hope that we get this is gonna be embarrassing. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. What'd you say? Yes. Yeah. Madonna's Vogue. Madonna's Vogue. We made well, comb bras and yeah. everything. I think it was seventh or eighth grade. So yeah, seventh or eighth seventh grade. Seventh or eighth grade. Madonna, she had a she had an effect on us. Oh, that was such a good one. I know, I love High that five one. for that. Yeah, I think your parents were just like, oh my god, these two. I know they were, <laughs> but then my mom wanted to be part of it. <laughs> All Am right. I going again? I can do mine. Okay. Yeah, you want to go back and forth? Yeah, That's probably a good way to do it. Yeah. All right. So. When? Mm -hmm. What day? Oh lord. Did we officially, in our minds, become true friends? Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a long one. You're writing a lot. <laughs> Ready? One. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad if I get it wrong. Two, three. What do we Did say? you put? I said, oh yeah, first day, first, ninth grade. First day freshman year. First day, ninth yep. grade freshman year. Yep, and I'll tell you why. Because we, obviously it was our freshman year, new school, mm -hmm. little fish, big pond. Yeah, and we had been previously introduced. We had hung out a little bit because we had a mutual friend in common. But we didn't really, you know, become friend friends. We yeah. just had a mutual friend in common. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, and then the first day of freshman year, I think you were sitting already. Yes, I was. She was sitting yeah. at the table already, and I remember I oh, walked in. Yeah, she's sitting alone, and I walked in, and you're, like, looking. You're scanning, and you're, like, for, anybody. for the love <laughs> of God, let me find somebody I know. Yeah. And I was scanning, and my eyes, our eyes locked. And it was like in that second, we both knew. Mm -hmm. We're like, you're my person. I was like, that's it. Come yes, over here. come. We're going to, and that was it. That was it. That was Shut it. down, and then mm -hmm. history was made. History was made. And truly, we did not go over these questions. We've been very secretive about them. Yes. So, all right. Hell yeah. All right, second question. All right. Now this is kind of, I guess it's not really about us, I was just kind of, it just kind of was a memory I thought of. But. Okay. Alright, the first time you met my husband, what incident occurred in the car? You might have gotten me. Just think about, think about him and what he does. Well, I know, I'm going to assume just by your husband... That it was some type of road rage incident. <laughs> road rage. <laughs> and I really don't remember this at all, but just knowing her husband. Yes, so I, I will tell the story. You it, tell it, the story. It popped up. So, again, years ago, because I've been with my husband for 20 years. Yep. So, um, I think he was, uh, I think actually I was picking him up from a class at USF. 
and Megan had come to visit and you were with me and we went mm -hmm. to go get him at USF and so he, he gets into the car, front seat, she's in the back, I'm driving and we were going down, I forget what road it was, but we were going down the road and some guy kind of like, I think he kind of almost like clipped the front of my car or like came really close. Now at this point, like it was this whole like cordial, like, hi, hi, nice to meet you. My husband's very quiet or he was, he's more, he's he opened is. up more over the years, but back then yeah. he's, he's very quiet, very reserved, very much like he wants to just kind of like sit back and see who you are. Yeah. And um, doesn't so the, start the conversation. No, so there was not much like conversing between the two of them. She's just in the back being quiet. And she and I are laughing and talking or whatever and he's sitting there. And so the person kind of cut me off and I think I had to hit the brakes a little bit. I might have honked the horn, I don't remember, but I do remember that all of a sudden he just like, at the time when we had rolling windows, he rolls down Kids, the window. Kids, you had yeah, to roll not, the windows down not at the some point. It was a rolling down window. Yeah. He rolls it down and he just like goes from like quiet, from like zero to ten. And he like leans out the window, starts screaming profanities at this person, is yelling like, what is your no problem, blah, 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 blah. As and you're telling this, I remember. And flipping him off. And then, like, and then we get by, and he just rolls up the window and then just sits back. I should, I don't even, because I was in the back seat. <laughs> I'm looking at yes. her. She's like, what just I was happened? <laughs> I'm like, if you need me to take you away, blink like, twice. I'm like, yeah, I'm like yeah, everything's okay. He's <laughs> But now I just know that he gets road rage like me because I get road rage too. So that I just yeah. So that was the first yeah. time of you meeting my my now husband and we've been together. Who is an time. awesome, fantastic, wonderful human being. He is. Don't use that as your judgment of him because he's he's awesome. No. All, All right. right. Next question. All right, my question is. And you have your books, so I'll be interested if you remember this. Oh, no. The nicknames that we used <gasps> for our middle school crushes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I only remember one. Yours? There's more? Remember, I oh, had no, one crap. and you had one. Write down. Oh, shit, I don't remember yours. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, I remember one. And I don't know why we gave them this nickname. You're going to remember mine? Oh, um, you're fine. I swear. Oh, this is gonna bug me. Oh, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I don't. I honestly don't remember it. It's okay. Ready? Okay. Um. So I, the second one is that. Cause I, so hers was high ass. <laughs> I, I don't know because he was tall. He was right? tall. I think I might have named him that because I think to you me, did. I think you did. To me, his. Booty was like at eye level. And you know why the only reason why I remember that is because then I saw him at USF. Oh really? Yeah. Yep. She really he was on our I track team. I don't remember his name really, but I don't even he was on our yeah. track team. He was cute. And he was cute. Alright. Mine was Dweeb Doe. I don't remember. No. How do you not Dweeb and where did we come up with Dweeb Doe? Oh, Doe? I don't remember this. I guarantee you, in our middle school yearbooks, if we looked, we would be referencing high ass and dweeb doe. I don't remember this. Okay, off camera, you're gonna have to tell me who it was. Okay. Cause I I'll tell you right now. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the. I don't remember that name. Yes. Okay, that was the name. Bad friend. Okay. Not a bad friend. I just don't. I, Hers is just memory. a little more catchy than dweeb doe. Dweeb doe. I don't even. I don't I know. I don't. Why would you name your crush that? I don't know. I think you came up with it. Probably because he was a dweeb. <laughs> but hot. He was a hot dweeb. All right. All right. Last Number question. Three. Last question for me. All right. For you. What did we set on fire in my oh, room? Oh, girl. All right, repeat that question so they can hear because <laughs> what did we set on fire in my bedroom? And I really hope we come up with the same answer because I'm wondering if I'm mixing two memories actually. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get deep. Oh my gosh, she's still writing. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my God, hopefully I have it right now since it's my question. Would you put a sock? Yes, and it wasn't a popcorn tin. A sock in a popcorn tin. <laughs> Again? Why? Kids, don't do this at home. I, I don't know. Don't do this ever. <clears throat> we were so 
We were pretty good kids, but yeah, for we some reason we were on like the second day of a Monopoly marathon and yep. I don't know if the lack of sleep got to our heads, but we decided to set a sock ablaze in a popcorn tin. Big popcorn tins. You know where you get it sectioned out yeah. and it's like cheddar and butter. I don't know yeah. what we were thinking. And then go ahead and tell them how we disposed <laughs> of this. Of the sock? Of the sock. I don't remember how we disposed of the sock. I we opened the window and oh. just poured, we poured water in the tin. Oh, yes, we did. So then it was like charred Soupy sock mess. soup. Yeah. And then we just poured it out her window. Because that just seemed logical at the time. And FYI, she lived in, an, what? I was in, we were in a town townhouse. Home. Yeah, we were in a townhome on the second floor. Yeah. And... My parents were sleeping, mm -hmm. were home and sleeping, and I was worried they were going to smell the smoke. And all I, you know what I remember at that point? Is getting a fan and thinking to myself, if I do this and walk back and forth, and we can go towards the window, the smoke. I can move the smoke towards the window. Yes. And we weren't high. We weren't high. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't do we didn't that. We didn't do stuff like that back then. Like I, I said, we were on the second day of a Monopoly marathon and apparently yeah. thought we were going to get crazy. <laughs> All right, last one. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Sock incident nonwithstanding. Yeah. My third question is, what do you think is, the dumb, is one of the dumbest things we did when we were kids? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we stopped at the same exact time. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Driving, Driving blindfolded! blindfolded. <laughs> this is before, before the Bird Box Challenge. Yeah, this is 1996. Box. Original Bird Box. Origi <laughs> and that is, we're not proud of that. No. We would, okay, so, put this down. Was that in my car or your car? It no, was in both of our cars. Was it? Because yes. mine was a stick shift. Oh, that's right. It so had I to have been mine. No, but you would drive blindfolded in your car, and oh. I would drive blindfolded in mine. Oh, okay, yeah. And what would happen is I lived in an area where it was basically just blocks, yeah, grids, just yeah. just grid, and Dunkin' Donuts was just up the street. <laughs> so we thought it would be funny that I would. You would have a, she would have a blindfold on, or I would have a blindfold yeah, on, or, or hands. Yeah, or each other's eyes or something like that. Yeah. yeah, sometimes there's a third person. And then we would tell each other where to go. So stupid. Yep. So stupid. Again, don't do that ever. Don't do this at home. I, I, when I think about it, and the fact that Netflix had to put out a disclaimer yeah. to people yeah. not to drive blindfolded, and I texted her, and I was like, <laughs> we're the OGs. Yep. And I don't know how we didn't hit anything. I don't know how we didn't honestly. hit anything. I don't know how we didn't hurt anybody. I don't I mean, know I don't how think we, we did it for damage. very long. If we that didn't. Makes you feel any better, but still, it was a fact that. And luckily, the roads weren't busy. We're, back there, we, but, yeah. So there, it wasn't as but, dangerous as you think it might be. But it was still. But it was pretty bad. So stupid. It was stupid. Yeah, we yeah. were we were kids, and I mean. In the grand scheme of things, you have, you know, a lot of stupid things that you can do when you're kids. And we yep. didn't do some things, and other things, we burnt socks and tins and drove yeah. blindfolded. We were just, I think we just weren't, like, we weren't the mm -hmm. getting in trouble type a lot. No, we I weren't. I think I had a pretty strict upbringing, so. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I was over at her place a lot. Because <laughs> I had... <laughs> A far less strict upbringing. Yeah. I always ate them out of house and home, so that was the. The joke was that I she had a tapeworm. I ate, I did. I, ate, I don't know. Because let me explain something. I, I ate like so much food. I don't know how. And let me explain something. She was tall. I am tall. And she like is tall. Ten. Lean. She had. She was all these gorgeous legs, just poof, long anymore. legs. <laughs> and stop being self-deprecating. You're beautiful. <laughs> But she we would, all know age gets to us. Eat. Okay. <laughs> she would eat and eat and eat and eat. And I mean, we would all be done and we'd be looking at her, this oh, stick food. bug, and oh, she'd food. just be shoveling it in. And my mom is like, that girl's got a tapeworm. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, and she's got to have a tapeworm. She's like, we shop before you come over and then we shop again after you leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. She loved it. I did. I just ate a lot. But anyway, it was good so, memories. Good times. Good times. Good times. So, I know it's a little different, it's not health related, but I thought it'd be kind of fun for you to 
meet my BFF, hear a little bit about how crazy we were in <laughs> high school. I mean, we loved each other so much that when we were in, was this middle school? I No, high school, obviously. We were in uh, different classes and mm -hmm. I, we would get bathroom passes yeah. and we'd know where each other's class was. So, <laughs> like, she'd be sitting in, mm -hmm. I, in the view of the front door yeah. and I would go by like, duh, 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 yeah, we always had the weirdest stupid cartwheels like, in the hallway. Yeah, we would cartwheel down the hallway. I would cartwheel across the the open door while her class was in session. I just boop, cartwheel right by her, just like jump out of my class. Make each other laugh in yeah. the classroom. Yeah, I'd skip out of like pottery class. I think I would mm -hmm. take. You had lunch during that period, and I yep. would just like walk into the lunchroom. I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna hang out for like five or ten minutes. You yeah, know? chill with me for a while. We so. thought we were so cool because we were skipping class. But we were, uh, I value our friendship so much and when you think about our freshman year in high school, that was 1993. Mm -hmm. So, yep, fall of 93. Yep. I mean, we've been best friends for 26 years. Yeah, that was quick. That was very good quick math. Thank you. I know. Were you proud of me? She knows how bad I am at math. Because honestly, being uh -huh. on camera, I'm like, I don't know if I'd be able to figure that out right now. Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. Props to her. Great snap props. <laughs> so, for 26 years, yep. you know, Long time. I tell her, I'm like, she's been the the longest love of my life. Aww. So. That's here. Alright, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> you. my beautiful friend, and, um... I know I don't say it a lot, but if you could like or subscribe. Yes, and make sure that you click the little bell button too so that you're reminded of the videos. Listen to her. Um, you know, it takes a lot for me to do these videos. It takes a lot for me to put it out. So every like, every comment, every subscriber is a very, very big deal to me. It is, because I, I keep track of it. And then I text her every now and then. I'm like, oh, you're up to such and such subscriber. See? It's very exciting stuff. So show she some talks, love. Show some love. She <laughs> talks about what a bad friend she is. And look. So, anyway. Show my friends some love. Give this, guys. Give this video a <laughs> thumbs up. And as always, pain recognizes pain. And I see you. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Now we're ready. We're ready. All right, we're rolling, so. Oh, we are? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, I believe this is your handwriting. Hold on. That's not my handwriting. Oh, no, it's not. Who wrote that? I can't believe she doesn't know my handwriting. No, you're right. That's not your handwriting. This Sorry, I'm, I'm going down. Now I'm going down memory lane. Okay, All right, stop. Squirrel. Shh, shh, yes. I swear, this is, she is the queen of squirrel, squirrel, <sighs> squirrel. Okay. And I have to be like, lish, lish. There you go. There's your paper.